It doesn't matter. Get your things. Come with me. What? Oh, Careful. Sorry. <laughs> what do you reckon? I borrowed the school's PA system. You know, rev up the kids a little bit. It's that pirate internet station everyone's talking about. You can't just borrow the PA, Donna. It's for the kids. That's great. Next time, settle for your iPod. I've got to turn this off. Fine. podcast from last night. How cool is it? Serious? Yeah, I reckon the music's wicked. And he's smart and sensitive. You know, not afraid to talk about stuff. That sounds like a bit of a loser. No way. He's going to be the next big thing, trust me. There. Zeke, cover for me. No, 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 I can't. Hello. Hi. Except for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I am starving. You've got a lot of marking there. I could give you a hand. <laughs> or you could be resting. I'm feeling much better today. You came to check up on me. And to feed you. Mm. Actually, I'm here to check up on Zeke. I'm just a bit worried about him. He keeps disappearing. Yeah, he has been missing a few classes lately, actually. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon he's going? Lunch? Hmm. Or not? You're not suggesting we follow him? I've got classes this other. Oh, oh, come on. We could be like Mulder and Scully. Oh, so now you think Zeke's involved in alien conspiracies, well, then? Maybe. I guess we'll never know. Mm. I have got two hours. <laughs> it's a pretty dodgy area. There he is, there he is. What do you think's in there? I don't know. It looks completely deserted. Not to mention run down and filthy. What would Zeke be doing here? Cleaning? <laughs> You're not very good at this detective oh, business, are you? I'm not making any other suggestions. Well, I'm more of an action man, somewhat like MacGyver. Says the man hiding around a corner. Fine. Okay. What now, action man? Well, I could kick the door down, but uh, I've got a slightly dodgy knee, so. Looking conspicuous. Standing in front of a locked door. Oh, pretend you're my boyfriend. Your husband. Kiss me. I'm Libby Kay. Yeah, no? Okay, fine. Ah, uh, this is Dan the Man. Where do you wham? <laughs> well, you're a little older than most of our audience. How'd you say you got in here again? I didn't. But we are very keen and huge fans of Pirate Knot. Net. Net. Pirate Net. Who are you? Hey, Mel, did you get that mixed CD? Well, with him. Hmm. Look, you're back on air in two minutes. Get rid of them. I can't believe you followed me here. You should be in school. Well, so should you. <laughs> what are you doing here, Zeke? It's a radio station. I play music. But you've got your own show. Yeah, and I'm pretty good at it. So why the big secret? Because it's a pirate radio station. That's why the front door's locked. Zeke, get a move on. You can't tell anyone about this. Well, that depends. 
I'll be right back. Hey guys, you're here with Lost Boy and I'll be here with you for the next two hours. Uh, let's kick things off with some killer electro beats. Zeke, this is great and everything, but Mum's really worried. Well, Susan's always worried. So tell her. Yeah, mate, she'd be wrapped. She'd tell the whole neighbourhood. Well, I like being anonymous. Why? Because I can talk about anything. Stuff Zeke Kinski can't talk about. Don't try and counsel me. Guys, you need to leave. I don't want him distracted. You can trust Mum. Tell her. If people find out about this, I'll have to stop doing it. Don't take this away from me. What were you doing talking to a reporter? She's a friend. Look, I got her to hold the story for a day, but she's gonna find out what happened. And what happened is you crashed my car, right? You heard what Coach said about lying. There's no going back. I'm not. Because you tell anyone it was me driving and we're both gone. You're either part of the team or you stay on the boundary. Yeah? Deck, it's me. Um, can you give me a call back? I, I've got to talk to you about something. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay. Do you think that's going to be much longer? You shouldn't be. Why do you need to talk to him so badly? It's just footy stuff. Do you have to talk to him about footy? He's still upset. I don't know who else to talk to. You're having problems? Are they picking on you? No. Well, what then? It's complicated. Well, you better sort it out, because it's your whole life now. Are you excited about meeting the exchange student tomorrow? Yeah, I suppose. It'll be hard for her being new. We'll have to make an effort to make her feel welcome. Don't let me stop you studying. Lost boy, huh? Mm -hmm. So friends, loyalty and all that other stuff. It's kind of confusing, isn't it? You know, trying to work out if your friends are looking out for you or just doing what's best for them. <laughs> Another rant. I like him. How about sporting teams, footy, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, that's where loyalty is truly tested. You know, if you stuff up there, if you let a team down, you're cactus. Because the footy team is the ultimate test of loyalty. You know, it's like the civilised version of going to war. But what if the battle doesn't feel right to you? What if someone you look up to, like a, like a leader, stuffs up and, you know, he makes you take the blame and you're just left there carrying the can? He's got my story. What do you do then? All your dreams of playing in the big league are down onto this one dodgy thing and you're stuck carrying the can. It's pretty tough, huh? What do you do then? Take a bit of Are you okay? Line. You know, I reckon real world is never putting a mate in harm's way. And if you're the kind of person that would, no one should be looking up to you. need to see him. Look, I just got to talk to him. He's been talking about me on air. Yeah, well, he talks about a lot of things on air. Look, Lost Boy is our most popular DJ, OK? And he's only been here for a week. You go around telling everyone who... No, I just need to see him. All right. I suppose it's OK. He was here a moment ago. You're gone. You're no longer part of this club. Oh, I told you the truth. Oh, too late. No, I gave up everything for this. Too bad. You lied. You've ruined the club's reputation. Now get off my field.